future adventures. The raison to our detra. Yes, I see what you mean, sir. I mean, we'll be okay, of course, with your brains and and my good looks. But but what about Gussie Finknottle and Barmy Funky Fips? I mean, they had to make the Drones Club password. Uh, 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 password, so they could get into the place. Yes, it does equate to something approaching the horns of a dilemma, sir. And we need you to get us off them, Jeeves. Any brainwaves? Well, sir, there is an author and essayist of some repute who may be able to help nullify the propaganda quotient of some of the more scandalous sheets. Spinoza, Jeeves? Unfortunately not, sir. The philosopher Spinoza died of tuberculosis aged 44 in 1677. I was thinking more about the former Eton schoolboy, sir. George Orwell? Eton, eh? Mm, can't be bad. Don't recall the blight of myself, though. It was Cordwell? Oh, well, sir. The chances are that you mixed in somewhat different circles. <laughs> be that as it may, Jeeves. Well, go to it. Snap up this Orwell chappy, if you think he can help. I will endeavour to do so, sir. Woodhouse made an ideal whipping boy, for it was generally felt that the rich were treacherous and Woodhouse was a rich man. But he was the kind of rich man who could be attacked with impunity and without risking any damage to the structure of society. It was a chance to expose a wealthy parasite without drawing attention to any of the parasites who really mattered. Old MacDonald had a farm E-I-E-I-O And on that farm he had some pigs! The animals were astonished to see Benjamin come galloping from the direction of the farm buildings, braying at the top of his voice. Quick, quick, he shouted. Come at once. They're taking Boxer away. Without waiting for orders from the pig, the animals broke off work and raced back to the farm buildings. Sure enough, there in the yard was a large closed van drawn by two horses with lettering on its side and a sly-looking man in a low-crowned bowler hat sitting in the driver's seat. And Boxer's stall was empty. The animals crowded around the van. Goodbye, Boxer, they chorused. Goodbye. Fools, fools, shouted Benjamin. Do you not see what is written on the side of that van? That gave the animals pause and there was a hush. Muriel began to spell out the words. But Benjamin pushed her aside, and in the midst of a deadly silence he read, Alfred Simmons, horse slaughterer and glue boiler, Willingdon. Do you not understand what that means? They're taking Boxer to the knackers! A cry of horror burst out from all the animals. At this moment, the man in the box whipped up the horses and the van moved out of the yard of the smart trot. All the animals followed, crying out at the tops of their voices. Clover forced her way to the front. The van began to gather speed. Clover tried to stir her stout limbs to a gallop and achieved a canter. Boxer, she cried. Boxer! 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 Two, three, in! We sat at the back of old manger, told us all so cool and calm. Even after his wildest dreams of life on Animal Farm, and Snowball took in every word to succeed the dire manger. While the pigs plotted exile and shame, the vicious gossip and rumor. Yeah. Napoleon took over the farm, promising more the same. But all the time he always meant to play that political game. And he didn't own the Daily Mail, so he left all the lies to squeal. Funny how there's always a faithful friend for every double dealer. I love to work as hard as a horse, I knew no other way. 
But I didn't know the knacker's yard was the price I'd have to pay And it's all for one, one for all Sisters and brothers, you must look out for the one The ones who will always be a little bit more equal than you and me Yeah, yeah The winter time it was hard and long The failed crops and blocked up drains There was never enough food to eat But always snowball to blame And I was working on the windmill When I received the fatal blow They took me to the secret place And they, they showed me where to go And I loved to work as hard as a horse I knew no other way but I didn't know the knacker's yard was the price I'd have to pay And it's all for one, one for all Sisters and brothers, you must look out for the one The ones who will always be a little bit more equal than well Everybody! Yeah! Hard as a horse, I need no other way. But I didn't know the knacker's yard was the price I'd have to pay. The pigs inside with Farmer Jones, they could hardly believe their eyes. The animals stood in shock and awe, but at last they realized it's all for one, one for all. Come on, you sisters and brothers. Just beware the secretive ones who are a little bit more equal than well everybody else. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Everybody now, four legs good and a two legs bad. Yeah. Four legs good and two legs bad. Well, four legs again, two legs are bad. Yeah. The time for two legs, no four legs good and two well, legs bad. Four legs are good and two legs are bad. Yeah. Four legs good and two legs bad. I said four legs good and two legs bad. I said four legs good and two legs bad. Every time, um, every. Every time Stalin swaps partners, Marxism has to be hammered into a new shape. This entails sudden and violent changes of line, purges, denunciations, and systematic destruction of party literature. Every communist is in fact liable at any moment to have to alter his most fundamental convictions or... Leave the party! The unquestionable dogma of Monday may become the damnable heresy of Tuesday, and so on. This has happened at least three times during the past ten years. It follows that in any Western country, a Communist Party is always unstable and usually very small. Ponder this and you ponder that But you always love to pontificate And it's funny how you're just never there When there's other ideas in the air You say, okay, so they practice torture But you've got to see the wider picture Well, you looked and listened But you never believed when Khrushchev finally spilled the beans And you had to think up something fast You just had to justify your means to the last You said, okay, so they practice torture But you've got to see the wider picture You grouchy Marxist, don't you love to discuss As long as no one mentions truth As long as no one turns up To introduce the truth to you 
Stalin murdered like others did And the bodies of the brave were hid And the trials of follow were just for show Yet still you call him Uncle Joe You say, okay So they practice torture But, well, we've got to see the uh, wider picture You grouchy Marxists Don't you love to discuss As long as no one mentions truth As long as no one turns up To introduce the truth to you Well, it's just a phase we must go through Well, yeah, you called a quorum in a comrade's room to discuss ideas you already knew. And by half past nine, he would found your truth, a phrase that you could always use. You say, OK, so they practice torture, but you've, you've got to see the uh, wider picture. Yeah, you grouch sheer Marxist, don't you love to discuss? As long as no one mentions truth, as long as no one turns up. To introduce the truth to you Well, it's just a phase we must go through Now Even now you would make the case For secrets kept in the secret place And you'd raise your hands Come on, raise your hands, raise your hands. Up in the air For pain and fear Pain and fear and making people disappear You'd say, okay So they practice torture But you've got to see the wider picture It's a mixed up world But the answer's simple We must make the rules up for the simple people Cause it's us who have the intellect And we must help the others to be correct And if they cannot understand what's right We will visit them in their beds at night Grouchy Marxists, don't you love to discuss? As long as no one mentions truth, as long as no one turns up to introduce the truth to you. O'Brien held up his left hand. It's back towards Winston, with the thumb hidden and the four fingers extended. How many fingers am I holding up, Winston? Four. And if the party says that it's not four, but five, then how many? Four. The word ended in a gasp of pain. The needle of the dial had shot up to 55. The sweat had sprung out all over Winston's body. The air tore into his lungs and issued again in deep groans, which even by clenching his teeth, he could not stop. O'Brien watched him. The four fingers still extended. He drew back the lever. This time, the pain was only slightly eased. How many fingers, Winston? Four. The needle went up to 60. How many fingers, Winston? Four! Four! What else can I say? Four! The needle must have risen again, but he did not look at it. The heavy, stern face and the four fingers filled his vision. The fingers stood up before his eyes like pillars, enormous, blurry and seeming to vibrate, but unmistakably four. How many fingers, Winston? Four! Stop it! Stop it! How can you go on? Four! Four! How many fingers, Winston? Five! 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 No, Winston, that is no use. You are lying. You still think there are four. How many fingers, please? Four, five, four. Anything you like. Only stop it. Stop the pain. (laughs) 
And it was there at St. Cyprian's And he saw it in the public schools And he saw it in the people Where the British Empire ruled He saw it and he learned it like two and two make four He saw it and he saved it For 1984 And it was there In the towns up north And he saw it there East End slums And he saw it all On the country roads That he walked along With the tramps and the hobos He saw it and Two and two make four He saw it and he saved it For 1984 And it was there in the Civil War And he saw it in the miner's eye and he saw it in the poorest He saw through Stalin's lies He saw it and he learned it Like two and two make four He saw it and he saved it For 1984 and it was there In the towns up north And he saw it there In the East End slums And he saw it all On the country roads That he walked along With the tramps and the hobos He saw it and he learned it Like two and two make four He saw it and he saved it For nineteen eighty. Oh